Hello, this reading is for those who just recently broke up or had a fallout with your partner. I'll do three spreads. The situation spread, who you're dealing with, who left who, etc. The advice spread, is it worth your time to reconcile with this ex? And the new love in the near future spread. Do you have anybody new coming towards you, hopefully better suited for you than your ex? Please like my videos if they resonate and subscribe to my channel. Let's begin. Hi Gemini, this is the situation. We have the Nine of Pentacles, we have the Nine of Wands clarified by the Seven of Cups. We also have the Seven of Swords clarified by the Five of Wands and the Eight of Cups. And we have the Empress on the bottom of the deck. I think this is going to be a very specific message to some of you. So what I feel happened here is uh, you, Gemini, was the one who called it quits. Because you didn't want to deal with this person anymore. You didn't want to be a part of their stupid world, I guess. Um, so I think you are in your own spread here twice with the Nine of Pentacles, the first card that came out and uh, the Empress on the bottom of the deck. Both of these cards, I believe, are you, Gemini. Uh, male or female, absolutely doesn't matter. So the Nine of Pentacles, the first card that came out, this is a single person card, but most importantly, this is a card of somebody who is self-sufficient, independent. You could be an eye candy, you could be admired by many, and uh, basically you were living your Gemini life, you were feeling great, and uh, here came this person. And this person is... They is a drama queen or this person was very deceptive this person was always sneaking around this person would always start a fight with you this person was up to no good you know you could never just be at peace with this person this person was always pulling some kind of crap that's what I keep feeling here and eventually you decided to put an end to it eventually you remember that you are the nine of pentacles eventually you remember that you are the empress on the bottom of the deck card right there that's your energy as well some people call uh, the nine of pentacles is the minor corner of the empress very similar energies right the empress is somebody who is sitting back the empress is somebody who is very relaxed everybody knows who the empress is the empress does not require an introduction so eventually you remember that, right? This person, and uh, you realize that this person is not making your life any better. And uh, as I always say, we're in each other's lives to make each other's lives better. If that doesn't happen, we have the full right to walk away from this person in pursuit of happiness with somebody else. And that's exactly what I think happened here. The Nine of Wands, the next card to the Nine of Pentacles, is a card of a wounded warrior. Um, but at the same time, this is a card of somebody who is putting up a wall between themselves and other people, right? And it's clarified by the Seven of Cups. The Seven of Cups is either this person's energy, who's had options, who was always, always available for other people, or the Seven of Cups is your energy where you're just confused about what's going on. You don't know what this person wants, and perhaps this person didn't know themselves what they wanted. And uh, this person kept, you know, being a drama queen or a king. This person kept pulling all that crazy behavior, right? The unpredictable behavior. Or this person was cheating on you. Because the next card that came out is the Seven of Swords. The Seven of Swords is a card of a cheater. This is a card of a deception. This is a card of sneaks around, who's got options, or somebody who's just up to no good. This person just could not be at peace. And uh, the Seven of Swords is clarified by the Five of Wands. The Five of Wands is a card of a conflict. So this was a very unhealthy situation for you. And you eventually remembered uh, your worth, right? Then you walked away from it with the Eight of Cups. The Eight of Cups clarifying the Five of Wands and the Seven of Swords. I think this is you putting this crap behind you and you're walking away in pursuit of happiness. Um, I know this spread can be interpreted in many other ways, but that's how I feel about this situation here. You eventually said, you know what, I've had enough. I'm better than that. I'm not going to take this crap from this person anymore. I'm done here. All right? Bye-bye. Um, yeah, let's take a look at the advice spread real quick. The advice spread reveals more details. 
Here's the advice spread for you. Gemini, this is from your perspective. This is what you need to do or at least take into consideration. We have the Magician, we have the Six of Swords, we have the Two of Cups, and we have the Seven of Wands on the bottom of the deck. So yeah, the advice is for you to get the hell out of there. <laughs> if you haven't already, then yeah, go ahead and leave. If uh, you already left that person, then you did the right thing. So the Magician, the first card I came out, this is you manifesting somebody or something new into your life. You're remembering your self-worth, right? And with the Seven of uh, Wands on the bottom of the deck, this is you standing your ground. This is you fighting this person off and you're telling this person that this person can go pull their crap on somebody else. Then we have the Six of Swords right there in the middle. This is a card of uh, somebody moving out of choppy water, so it's calmer waters. This is a card of somebody who is moving on. This is a card of um, a rough patch being over, and uh, you're moving on to the Tea of Cups energy. The Tea of Cups is one of the best cards when it comes to love. This is soulmate love, unconditional love, and uh, this is a card of when two people are on the same page and the feelings they have for each other are mutual. So perhaps you have already found a new person, or since this is an advice spread, that means that don't take crap from this person. You are better than that. You will find somebody much better than that. Somebody who will treat you right with the Two of Cups energy. So just leave that person behind if you haven't already, but if you already did, then you you did the right thing. Gemini. We're moving on to spread number three. Spread number three is about new love coming towards you in the near future. Gemini here is spread number three. This is new love coming towards you in the near future, hopefully in March. We have the Eight of Wands, we have the Two of Pentacles, we have the Fool, clarified by the King of Pentacles, and uh, we have the Six of Wands on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. So yeah, you do have somebody coming towards you. It's possible that you'll even have more than one person, because we have the Two of Pentacles right there in the middle. But if, uh, if it is more than one suitor, then the King of Pentacles will most likely be the one whom you'll uh, try to get into some sort of a relationship with or if that's just one person then uh, you will think about giving them a chance you're gonna take your time and I think they'll wait <laughs> and then you will give them a chance because um, we have uh, the full right and we also have the six of ones well let's start from the beginning the eight of ones is a card of uh, communication um, back and forth communication. Some people call the Eight of Wands the Cupid's Arrows card. So this person, this King of Pentacles, who could be an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or this person is very grounded, very um, stable and financially secure. This person is communicating with you. Then we have the Two of Pentacles. So I think this is uh, you trying to see if you actually want anything with this person. Um, and then with the full card you are taking them a chance and with the six of wands on the bottom of the deck yep this is you feeling great again you're feeling your gemini self again the six of wands is a card of a victory this is a card of recognition and this is a card of feeling great about yourself so yeah forget about that toxic person forget about the drama king or queen we saw in the first two spreads and uh, this person will provide stability. You're, this person is not going to be all over the place like we saw with that previous person. This person is very serious grounded and uh, you'll know what to expect from this person moving forward because that previous person was full of surprises and those surprises did not resonate with you because they were very toxic and unpredictable and uh, this person was just Full of it. <laughs> All right, a much better person is coming towards you, Gemini here. All right, so that's what I got for you. If this reading resonates with you, please like this video. And other than that, Gemini, have an amazing March. And there you have it. I hope my readings resonated with you, and if they did, I hope they make your lives better in one way or the other. Please share and subscribe and hit the bell to get notified. Thank you for watching.